Hey everybody, welcome to Go For Green Living Homestead and I'm Daniel. I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour of what's growing and what's not growing in the aquaponics. Uh, I'm doing a lot of work in here and just give you a little sneak peek, you know, as, as I'm working, you know, so uh, y'all stick around. Let's let's zoom in a little bit. I think the fishies will have a little strike at this some food. Do you have meat? All right, now let me kind of lay out my system real quick for you. Uh, I have the sump tank, which I just just saw is right beside us, and then right there I have another breeder tank, and right below here is where I was brooding out all the babies. And unfortunately, these babies were from last year, and y'all can tell how big they've actually gotten so I'm adding some more tanks all right on the aquaponics on wheels you can see our cranberry over there has just went totally nuts and it's liking this uh, intense sunlight and it's got producing cranberries but the main thing it's doing is sending out a ton of growth and right there in front I have a, a tomato plant and that was one of the tomatoes that uh, did not take in the graph so I put it in here to bring it back to life and uh, there's a few more right there and as we pan over a little bit we see a baby fig now that was just a branch that uh, and I accidentally broke off well, I broke it and then I broke it the rest of the way off and, and put it in here and it took took the roots and if y'all remember all of our umbrella grass that's all coming back and doing nicely we have a mint a strawberry a stevia I put this little pot of uh, walking onions in there just curious to see how they would do in the aquaponics that's the stevia there and this is the unbelievable part right there this is uh, uh, yellow root and I have never seen yellow root grown in aquaponics and if you look right there it's fixing to bud out and down there at the bottom it has little green leaves coming through it and I was doing a little work on this on the on the tea and and the, the roots were sticking way over there so eventually this will all be yellow root and I won't complain a bit all right right down there is the four new beds that I'm putting in they're already piped in and working but this IBC right here is fixing to be another breeder tank. And uh, by that, my means that uh, that pipe is sticking way up in the air right there. I'm about to take my yellow torch <laughs> and melt it into the direction I want it to go so that it actually fills up this tank right here, which will be another breeder tank. And then that breeder tank will actually empty into my rice bed and I'm thinking about turning half of this into cranberries and half of this into rice bed and it goes down to there and right across from there is you can't really see because I have that plastic laid over it but right beside those uh, that umbrella grass which I have to thin out here coming soon is I'm gonna put two more half barrels there to connect to this system here comes the car those two barrels connect to, to the to the big system which runs right across the back line up back there. But the first one where I'm adding the two new uh, is actually where the pumpkin is going to go. The giant pumpkin.
this in here is kind of my little jungle area and uh, it is it's just gone crazy it's got cranberries it's got mint it's got a pineapple it's got red celery it's got gooseberries it's got blueberries uh, horsetail red sorrel more cranberries stinging nettle right there <laughs> be careful of that stinging nettle and singing nettles is all around my feet. It's kind of spread out. This is the pipe I'm talking about that uh, will soon feed that tank right down there, um, which my system is about to be 100 foot long, which is really awesome, and all fed by one pump. So uh, it's a very, very, very power efficient. <clears throat> but I'm going to take this pipe and then I'll bend it over a little bit that way, and then bend it down, and then send it along there flat until it dumps into that tank and then that tank will overflow into the rice uh, patty and the uh, cranberry patch that I'm going to go there because either one of them can can be flood and drain so it, it's pretty awesome uh, but anyway so you can see how how overgrown everything has gotten uh, oh I also have kiwi in there that I that I've taken cuttings on and it's blooming and uh, I have some uh, gooseberries, I think they were gooseberries. Uh, I don't know, I'll have to put it in the description below. But you can see real soon in our, in our future videos, we're going to be coming and we're going to be cleaning out some of this mint. There's more mountain mint, peppermint, spearmint. And this entire bed right here, this entire grow bed is stevia. It wasn't secure, <laughs> but this, all this right here, it's all stevia, all through there, it's all stevia. You remember I said, I'm going to get 300 stevia plants? Well, there they are, and there's probably one every half inch in that bed, so uh, i got to give it some more room, i got to take out some mint out of there, but uh, I'm just going to let stevia do what it's going to do, and we're going to see how much it takes for us to get through a year for sweetener. So, I know everybody's curious. Uh, but, yeah, red celery. Oh, more stevia right here. More stevia, the gooseberries. Uh, I got some uh, rosemary cuttings in here. Uh, some kiwi, some mint. Somewhere there's a pineapple. Oh, there's pineapple. Stop covered up, but it's still doing okay. <laughs> and lemongrass, lemongrass taking over that whole backside there. So we are really well, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little walk around our aquaponic system because we certainly do love it. Uh, it's it's uh, this time of year getting ready for for springtime. We got a little bit of work to do, so y'all stick around with us and join us in that, and I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Please go check out our patron video and consider becoming a patron uh, and and helping Go For Green Loving keep putting out the quality videos that you're seeing now. All right, guys. Oni, ove, ocha means I love you, Later, guys.